Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Barclays Premier League. It's Leeds United against Arsenal. The hosts are unbeaten at home so far in this campaign. Can they maintain that record today? Your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Well, we've got Barclays Premier League action for you. I'm Martin Tyler and with me is Alan Smith. Hello, yeah, Martin. Great to be here. Chance for all to have a look at Leeds United. Yeah, I think a predictable start for this side. A team that uh, we build as a mid-table one at the start of the season and uh, fulfilling those expectations at the moment. This is a guy who really is on top of his game at the moment and uh, no wonder he started. He's probably the first name on the team sheet. Yeah, I would imagine so. And the opposition, I'm sure, would have spoken a lot about him in the dressing room beforehand, a danger man. News of a goal from elsewhere, Alan McInally. It's a goal for Manchester United. Seven minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Good forward play from them. It's a chance! Oh! Well, it's a bad miss. Trying to up the ante the visiting team here. Eight points from their last five league games. If they could get another three today, well, then it begins to look a little bit more respectable. But uh, they need to get that win. Brilliant pass there. He's got to score. They've locked. He's pulled them back for a free kick when they thought they were going to attack right through to goal. Did you see anything cynical in that, Alan? Well, I think so. The referee doesn't need to make a, a mountain out of this molehill, but uh, it is a foul. Leeds United looking for a victory here, but it's not going to be easy. The position of play of this player is really good. from Stamford Bridge, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Chelsea. It's been scored by Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. He found himself clear of the defence, kept his composure. 22 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. He read it and cut it out. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. He went in well. That defending team really defending for all their worth. Rodrigo. The home team, reasonable run. The last five league games, we tend to look at that. Eight points. Well, they've not set the world alight, have they? But they've slowly approved those points, and uh, maybe at the end of the year, they'll be seen as, as good points. Been a bit of a slow start here from Arsenal. Goal news from Fulham, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Fulham, 34 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Play well, slid in at him, somehow he got out of the way. Tempted cross, easily cut out. Rodrigo. Here he is with a chance. Oh, they score! from the scoring here, 1-0. Been a difficult start to his life at the club, but I think he's turned things around. He deserves uh, to uh, not have this speculation about his future. Now you can't go from week to week from one result to the next. You need some stability, and I think this manager will get it. He's coming forward with some danger. Possession regained, almost in the nick of time, really. Goal news from Stamford Bridge, Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Chelsea, 45 minutes played, 2-0. Cheers, Alan. Brilliant opening, in with a chance. 
keeper really stretched and he's made a fine diving save. And they've got the ball back through a very good interception. That's good work to keep. And that's half time. Signaled by the referee. 1 0 the half time score. Very, very good first half. Here we go with the start of the second half. Statisticians have been proved right here, haven't they? If you keep shooting, you're going to you're going to score, aren't you? The percentages tell you that, and that certainly happened in this match. Yeah, and, and when you create as many chances as they have, yeah, I mean, it's always on the cards that they're going to get a few, and it's been fantastic for the strikers, particularly out here. Well, it's a poacher's goal, but you have to be in the position to take them, didn't you? And his instinct took him there. Arsenal have the ball again. Manager thinking for the away side, time for a change. Oh, in goes the cross. <laughs> that was a bit of panic, but he's got it away. And the opposition will get a throw here because they've tried to play it into the wide areas and they couldn't find the uh, play that they were trying to pick out. Substitutions at this stage, the key moments really, and the manager deciding to bring this player on to try and tilt the match which is level in their favour. Good position for Arsenal with the throw. Pass keeps the move going. Rodrigo attacking now. In a goal. He tried to play it through, cut out by the opposition. He can cross it now. Here's the cross. It looked a good attack. It was even better defending, and they've cleared their lines. And the significance is that they're in front. He went in there like the best of strikers, really, and he did get the goal. Well, he was brave and uh, determined to get on the end of that. The scoreline is A substitution here for the home side well they're still battling to try and get their search for supremacy successful possession facts suggest that the battling is still going on that's right one thing having possession but another thing being positive and using it in the right areas can he turn away from the challenge here Challenge here. Well, this is going to be the introduction of three new players. Caught 
brother back on his heels as he went for that shot. I think he wasn't expecting it, Martin, and uh, that's unforgivable as a striker. Superb. Let's see what the referee has made of this generally, whether it's just a foul. And in comes the header. It's a fine header, but it's just gone wide. Yeah, and keeper rooted to his spot. He couldn't have got there. Rodrigo. It's 82 minutes played now. He's controlling the play here. His teammates just borrow the ball for a few moments and then give it back to the main man. Options available on the bench for the away side today. Brilliant opening. In with a chance. That's why goalkeepers have to be strong to deal with shots of that power. back to his feet oh it has to be they defended well it was good looking attacking play too This is a tough one for this team. Beaten by just that one goal margin. Well, it was always a tight game, and uh, the slightest mistake might have proven costly, and that's how it.